How is it going everyone and welcome to another Super Sentai Mecha review video. We are looking over another Mecha from Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger, and in this case it is the battleship Crocodio. This is the Mecha that is pertaining to Two Kaiser, the Gold Ranger of this series. There are all sorts of different modes that this Mecha has such as a couple of components that can be made separate to create these other vehicles, and I will show those off in more detail much later. Now, along with this set, we also have these two characters, these being Ricky and Katanner. They are the twin younger brothers of Two Kaiser. They take on this form during the events of the series, with each one of them being influenced off of a past mecha in the Super Sentai series. Ricky is based upon O-Ranger Robo, who in Power Rangers is known as the Zeo Megazord. I will do a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison between these characters and the mecha that they are based upon. And Katana, on the other hand, is based upon the Samurai Megazord, though I haven't memorized as to what it is called in Shinkenger, but I'll put its name up on the screen so you guys will know. And here's a comparison between the two of them. Now, Ricky and Katana, on the other hand, look nearly identical to one another, given as to how they are twins, but they do have their unique appearances, such as their appearances based upon the past mecha, as I've mentioned before, as well as with their weapons. For a size comparison between them and some other characters, here is a comparison between them and the standard Zenkaiger vinyl figure, such as a comparison between Katana and Two Kaiser himself. And then here is a comparison between Katana and Ju Ran. We'll do some more comparisons much later on in this video as we get further down the line. Now, taking a look at the components for Crocodio, here is the first of the two, this being called Cross Kaio. This is the upper portion of Crocodio, and it is piloted by Tukai Katana. I've uh, realized that they're not just called Ricky and Katana, they have the name Tukai in front of their names, though I think that they are specific for these specific forms, since they happen to be human characters that were transformed into these sort of small mecha-like forms. So. Here is Cross Kaio, piloted by Tukai Katana. Now here is the other one. This is Crawling O, which is piloted by Tukai Ricky. What is interesting is that you put the blaster thing on the end of this bike, uh, which I believe it is called. I'm pretty sure that it is. And it, it looks quite interesting. Now, real quickly, here is what they each look like with the other one driving them. What I've shown was what is actually done in the show, but you can actually put them on each other's uh, vehicles. Like, you can put Ricky on Crosso Kayo and Katana on Crawling O, since they are built the same way. Although, I do not know if they have ever actually done this. Now, according to the wiki, Crosso Kayo and Crawling O have only appeared in two episodes of Zenkaiger, these being in episodes 11 and 16. Now we are going to go ahead and cut to building Kaizoku Gatai to Kai O, which are the mecha formations of Krakodayo. Now, for these, this is quite interesting. Now, what you're going to see here is that I put my hand on top of the slots that are supposed to open up, because when dealing with this beforehand, 
Sometimes the slots up on the top just kind of open up on their own when I don't want them to, which is why I am holding them down. And there's this flap inside of the crocodile's uh, mouth, which I suppose is the tongue, and you need to insert either Ricky or Katanner onto the slot, and in this case, what I am showing is Katanner because we are doing this formation first. And what you want to do is put Katanner up on this slot, then rotate this gear, and it will slide into place. It pretty much is like Katanner is getting eaten by the crocodile, but then his head pops out at the end. And here is the rest of the assembly of the mecha. Now here we have the first of the formations of Tukayo, this one being called Tukayo Katanner, since it focuses on Katanner himself. Now with this formation, we have Ricky be put on the left arm here, though with the other formation it'll be the right arm because we flip the body around, but we'll talk more about that in a moment. And we put the blade on top of Ricky's head, acting as the arm. Now something that they never did in the show, or at least I've not seen in any of the online pictures, is add Ricky's blaster to the other arm, which actually holds on pretty well. Which I think was intended for a different formation, but we'll look over that in the next video. Now I think that what you are supposed to do with the blaster is put it on the back, as you see right here. Now here is the face of Tukayo Katanner. There's this sort of a flip face that is on top of Katanner's head, and this other face is for the formation. It kind of looks a bit odd to me. Now here is the other assembly, where this time around we are going to be having Ricky be put into Crocodio's mouth and form this version of Tukayo. This time around, we have Katanner acting as the other arm with Ricky's blaster added to the top of Katanner's head. Now for the head of the crocodile, I think that I've seen in the show that you are supposed to fold it downwards. Although you can have it be folded upwards like with the other formation, but I've seen promo images and clips showing you having it be facing downwards. And you do also have Katana's sword be added to the back. Now here is the alternate face for Ricky for this formation. And for this one, he actually has a face on the back of his head that you need to flip around for this formation. Since he happens to be facing away from the front, since this is how this other formation works. It's just flipped from the first formation. Now, real quickly, uh, if you look at this one from the back, you can actually see uh, Ricky's original face. Now, I think that what you're supposed to do is push down on this flap on the top of his head and his eyes disappear. But it is interesting to see this formation with those eyes still there. Kind of like this is a whole other character. I nearly forgot, here are the comparisons between Tukayo and some other mecha, such as the regular Juran, 
Zenkayo Juran Gaion, and Hasbro's version of the Dino Megazord. So that's about all that I have to say about the battleship Crocodio. Thank you so much for watching, and join me next time when we take a look at Zenkai Juo. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.